Hello lovelies! Welcome back to the channel. This week we are going to be doing a full mock-up of the petal skirt that Glinda wears in the bubble dress. As many of you may already know, this dress is inspired by the Dior Venus dress, which is right here. Before we get started, I will say that I did end up lengthening the top two layers of the petticoat, which was something I mentioned last week that I would change if I really wanted to, and I really wanted to. So I will have all of that information at the end of the video. I'll put a timestamp here so that you can see it if that's if you care about that first. But otherwise, let's head on over to the table and discuss our plan of attack for this mock-up. All right, let's talk about the base of the skirt. I'm going to make a three quarters of the like circle skirt and I wanna do this in three parts with a front panel and two back panels so that I will have a side seam, another side seam, and a back seam. I'm going to put a zipper on this and I'm also gonna leave out the hem just for the mock-up purposes because I am using horsehair braid for the hem on the final one and I don't feel the need to do those extra steps for this one. We are literally doing this actually just so we can get placement for the petals and I will do an entire another set of these with the petals once I've confirmed that this looks right over my dress. If this is way too flowy, we will do a half circle skirt, but I think this is gonna be pretty perfect. So I've got my radius and my length over here in the corner, and now I'm gonna move on over to paper and start plotting this out. I read an article on playbill.com that said that Glinda's gown had 64 petals. So my goal is to get in the 60 range. If I'm off by a couple, it's gonna be no big deal. Progress, not perfection. So I traced this off of my monitor and then I also looked at an image, a different image, like not this gown, a different image to get this. So I've got an idea of what it'll look like from the front and my plan is to mostly mimic that for the back except for this like center one right here it'll probably end up being two because there's a slit in the back for opening and closing and then she also has coming off of her bodice some pieces that hang that will look like a petal as well so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start with this center piece here down on the floor and I'm just gonna measure and try to kind of start visually seeing like, okay, how much of this does it take up? And then like do these small ones and then do like the big ones under the small ones and just kind of start from the top and work my way down and kind of organically work through the back. So one thing I will say for this bottom layer of petals is there's the petals that are seen and then there's petals under that in between what is seen. And that way, like no matter how she moves, it's always looks like petals. And that's the whole goal is that even though I'm gonna have a base, every single one of these is going to overlap on top of each other so that it looks like it's only petals. And we, when we get into the construction of the gown, which is kind of far down the line because I have to make all these petals, I'll talk about how I plan to attach the petals and how I plan to keep the petals laying the way that they need to lay. So I guess let's dive into cutting out a bunch of petals.
All right, so that is how the mock-up turned out for this skirt with all of these petals on it. I did wanna say that this video is possible thanks to everyone over on my Patreon at patreon.com slash Casey Renee Cosplay. That's my members only website where you can help support this channel and get exclusive content like access to the Discord channel, early access to videos, access to digital patterns, and more. All right, so I'm pretty happy with the mock-up. I am really glad that I decided to go to three quarters of a circle skirt instead of start with a half circle skirt because I basically started at three quarters and then shaved down until I got it fitted to the petticoat the way I wanted it to, and I am really happy with that. While I said the goal was about 60 petals, we are sitting at 53 petals, and I've looked at so many different Glinda variations, and the thing is, is the dress changes quite a bit throughout its history, so I'm kind of going to accept 53, but I have set in my brain that if, when I'm building the actual one, it isn't looking as like full or dense with petals as I would like. I have ideas on how to tackle that and then add more petals. 
So for now, we're going to stick at 53 petals and work our way towards 60 if it's not as dense as it, like if it doesn't look as dense with the actual fabric that it does with my cotton. With that being said, next week I am going to be actually doing a video on making Amity from the Owl House. This is a, the only new costume that I'm going to be making for KatsuCon. I really wanted something easy that I can be wearing to conventions and I actually really love this show and I love Amity's character development. So I will be making this costume for KatsuCon. It's going to be a short build, but that'll be next week's video. And then as per your request, a few months ago I asked you all if you would be interested in a wig tutorial for my Rococo Sarah Sanderson and I will be also wearing that at KatsuCon so I will be making a video on how I do that. And then we'll get back to Glinda for a little bit. With that being said, I guess let's talk a little bit about the petticoat adjustment that I made. I only had four yards of fabric to work with, three and a half yards of fabric to work with. And for some reason I had it set in my mind that I'd have to change the bottom tier of the layer to like lengthen it properly. And the bottom tier is the one with the most, you know, it's the longest, it's the like the longest strip of fabric. But I don't know why I thought that because I literally just took the, I took everything off the waistband and then I like I ripped it all apart. I ripped the top two layers apart, just the top tier of the top two layers. And the original one I think was 14 inches from like waistband to the next tier. This one was 17 inches from waistband to the next tier. And that seems to have done the trick. So now here is a lovely little segue into um, this, like making the, fixing up the petticoat. And then at the end, you'll get to see, you know, the little, the little reveal of the petticoat and how pretty it looks now. And uh, I will see you all in next week's video. Thank you so much for watching this. If you are enjoying Glinda's progress, please subscribe. I will be uploading a new video for her in two weeks, two weeks, three weeks. So just remember that. Um, otherwise, I hope everybody is having a lovely year. We are now well into February and may all your dreams come true.